uh, click right mouse button or uh, you can use uh, express or pull as well this way calculate and you can use math or trigonometric you can use simple drag and drop or we can add another node by right mouse button express or calculate and math it's really up to you and just connect rotation people with trigonometric node and select trigonometric no mode uh, node and go to attributes manager and you can adjust the function but we want to use uh, we want to use a sin function at the moment we can check the result yes it looks correctly and we must uh, multiply the result of the of the trigonometric node with uh, piston rod position it's a constant we can use constant value as well we don't need uh, we don't need to use uh, position by this one node we can use simple constant at uh, in this case of course we can use express original and constant and just set frozen position to the constant node select the math node and change function to multiply I uh, you will use this one node very very, very often and multiply these two values and here is the result as you can see in this case is the height of this position really zero it's correctly I'll just sorry in case uh, the P will be 90 degrees negative direction it must be 64 and it is choose uh, we got we got correct result it's perfect okay go back and we need to uh, we need to get uh, the second the second value as well we can use two ways we can use a Pythagoras sentence or we can use uh, another trigonometric function as well in this case I think it's a bit uh, simple to uh, simple to use a trigonometric function because we can simply copy these two nodes select them and copy and paste them and change trigonometric node to cosinus and connect new one new one trigonometric node with the rotation uh, and multiply these two values again as you can see the result will be in this case a bit different just play animation a bit you can see it's 64 again and again it's correctly okay just try rotate our object and you can see result still shows the result the the engine the piston engine is almost done because uh, we must use we, we must prepare uh, only one other formula and we are able to get really all that we need for the correct result and we can use a bit different node uh, we can use uh, now that is, that's uh, named uh, that's named formula just use right mouse button again or just drag and drop the node directly to the pool and uh, set the node itself and I usually use port names and click to the blue field and add value and second one we will use these two these two input 
input values and we need to get this one height we know this one size it's 64 at the moment we know the length of uh, the piston rotor object it's uh, 125 and we can use Pythagoras sentence and we are able to get this one opposite side and just simple at this one opposite side height with uh, this one result and we uh, and we will get correctly piston uh, piston epsilon position okay what we need um, at a new one node it will be constant in this case it's, as we said before it's really basic tutorial and uh, select constant itself and type 125 for uh, to the field to the value field and connect these two ports and do the same from the cosinus from this part here and if you are not sure just open help of uh, Cinema 4D and check correctly typing of our formula you can see it's here square and square root and we can start select the node and go to formula field and we can start just type s square value 1 Subtract QR value 2 and we can check the result. But as you can see, it's not the correct result. We must use a different, uh, must use square root function as well. Just type SQRT and this. Yes, it's correctly. And we must simple add these two values and we will get correctly position of the, our piston object. Just add or copy this one math node, change the function to add, add these two values. Select these two nodes and place them right and add new one port position and position in epsilon and connect these two values select zero one object and rotate it yes it works really nice I think As you can see, it was pretty simple. Uh, we can learn how can we uh, make our life uh, a bit simpler uh, because it's very very simple to get really nice result in a few minutes, and we will be able to uh, change, for example, this one value uh, in case it will be a bit different. Just uh, select. 01 object itself and add go to attributes manager and add user data and we can adjust name to length and uh, change units to real the limit max it can be unlimited for example and just adjust it to default value to 125 and okay this here you can see our user datas. Open 
express also things again and uh, uh, we can use this one node and add user data and length and just connect these two parts together and we can delete this one part you can see it works but it's not so it's not so important for us uh, in this case and I have showed it uh, in educa educational uh, reasons only uh, what will be next uh, we can simply create a new one new one object can be a rotator or axis for example it's really up to you and uh, just open I will use I will use uh, the former state with constant and uh, we can use uh, a new one settings just drag and drop the rotator object and place the rotator object to the espresso and add coordinates rotation and rotation in P uh, axis and uh, we can connect a rotation of our rotator object with rotation of our zero one object you can see it works uh, if you want to make your uh, engine object a bit more complicated you can for example if you want to add uh, other pistons but uh, we must adjust our uh, our special settings a bit because at the moment for example is the piston position restricted in uh, uh, object mode in X and Z direction but it's not connected to the position of the main object for the piston is the, is the zero one object at the moment just uh, select this one constant node and delete it and select the zero one node and add coordinates position and position x direction and coordinates position uh, in z direction and connect these Parts as in x direction and z direction, and play, paste and place uh, the node back and it's almost all, I think. But uh, we must have a chance uh, to adjust uh, the initial rotation of our object, just create a new one math node calculate math and leave it as it is it's correctly and suitable for us and uh, we can still adjust the second input value we can, we can still adjust this one value and it will be uh, initial initializing uh, angle of uh, other other pistons you can try it select so, like, these two objects and copy them move them a bit Uh, select this one take and drag and drop to the second object and open the expresso of the second object and we can type P for example yes and select the rotator and we can rotate it as you can see it works really nice and with no problem maybe the last, really the last, select the rotator itself and open uh, new expresso settings and coordinates uh, rotation H and coordinates rotation and B and add new one constant and connect these values that's all can still place it but we can rotate it in other directions and it works correctly at the moment as you can see 
it wasn't so complicated I think in case uh, we will use some elementary uh, knowledges from the school we are able to get a really nice result and uh, we are able to get a really nice animation without extra iPhone and without extra Cinema 4D features as we said before Expresso is the elementary part of Cinema 4D Prime version choose it's really for everybody okay that's all uh, I hope you like uh, the tutorial and in case you want to know more just inform me and I can prepare some other stuff uh, and uh, grow uh, your Expresso uh, knowledges thank you for watching and bye